Hey guys, how you doing? Yalik here and today is War Factory and we're going to dive right in because I have already scouted this out. Relatively easy War Factory, low health on the core, no shield, and really this should be a pretty easy solo for a lot of players. However, that being the case, um, what I had thought I would do is a twofer today. So I'm going to try this on my main account first. And if we don't solo it in one, then we should get it pretty easily in two. And then we're going to approach it. I'll sign off, switch accounts, and pick back up again. And we're going to approach this with my mid-level account because it will be a slightly different approach, same basic attack style. So let's go over this very quickly. As we said, no shield. There is some free GBE to be had down here. I don't think I'm going to use that right now, but I will be using that later on. There is a laser on the beach, which sucks, but if you smoke your landing properly, that shouldn't be too big of a concern. No mines in this area, which is great, because my idea is to to smoke the beach, land here, gather up about here, and just flare directly up to this little corner. Now, if we get into that corner, we should be out of range of these rockets. So that means we are going to need a shock over here on the shock launchers to attack the HQ. We're going to want to shock the doom cannons here because they do splash damage. And obviously the mortars up here. Honestly, if you wanted to, just to be cautious, you could throw a shock down here and we'll keep an eye on the spread of the Zookas. Might try throwing some critters out about here, just in case these things do decide to fire. And you could possibly deal with these Doom Cannons kind of in a similar way, just with critters a couple of packs of critters that could end up being cheaper for you but we're going to try it with the shocks so unboosted other than the fact that I have 10 offensive statues which is plenty of boost if you think about it and I'm going to not talk for a moment balls was hoping to pull off a two smoke there and did not. And the laser is did not get moving quick enough. So how many did we lose? About half. Ish. So this is obviously a pro hit. Have lost the delay up top. Fantastic. Okay, can we get those critters out like we talked about? And the rockets are firing, but the critters should be able to take care of them. And down we go. Beach gaffs notwithstanding. Um, might be better to do the uh, flare landing here with that laser in play. You have a little bit more control over the smoke timing and stuff like that, but like I said, a all in all a very easy war factory, easy enough that you can lose like how many of your Zookas on the beach and still be okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna sign off on Oh, this is interesting. I have never seen that NPC base before. And it's not one that was designed... Oh, not an NPC. Right, that's actually a player. Wait, I thought I'd clear my map of player base. Oh, new spawn, right? Total brain cramp. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'll be back on my little account in a bit. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. I had literally just finished a uh, clearing map. And I had left all my NPCs and one player base, just one player base, which was 
to be taken with warriors, and it didn't even occur to me that, um, yeah, that I might have gotten a, a new spawn. I had a terrible day for spawns yesterday, by the way. Horrible day. Uh, uh, here's a problem. So I don't want to collect that. And we need AZ. We should be able to do that. We're going to need a bunch of Everspark, and I have no gold on this account, so that's fun. Yeah, so it didn't even occur to me that I would have had a fresh spawn in that amount of time. And yesterday, I spent the entire day getting... Like, I went four or five hours in the middle of the day with a clear map and no spawns at all. So, let's see. That was what? Power Stone 42. We've got way better than that. So that is just to be salvaged for powder, which is always a good thing. And we're going to have more powder on these greens. I see that's cool because that will make a guardian and we'll salvage that and it will become a crystal and that will be become a masterpiece and that will get salvaged. So cool. All right. First time logging into this account for the day and all right. I don't really have a choice about this I guess. I was trying to save these boats. Zedmont just did a video saying don't touch those boats, save those boats because you can store millions of gold in there if you don't touch it for days and then that will be that's a way to keep it from other players getting to it while building up so that you can get these new big hero upgrades which will be available very soon. If they're not already. I haven't even looked at it. I don't have the gold. So, Alright, so. We have seen how we approached War Factory on the other account. This account is going to be a little different. Uh, parking spot is going to be right in there. And those are going to have to get barred out. Luckily, they're pretty low health. And still with a shock and a shock. Ideally, I'm going to hack these out also. I want to try to triple tap these. I don't know if I'll be able to do that with the lasers in range, but last time we had this War Factory layout, I was able to, so yeah. Now, at some point, I'm assuming probably gold is a problem here for me, so I want to lose as few troops as possible on this account today. So we're going to remove as many things as possible, hence the, the double video, because you're going to see two different approaches to this. For right now, why don't we start with these two? And do we want the GBE on this hit? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to start with a boat of Zuka over there. Let them gather up. Some crates or boxes or whatever those are called. Do it on this hit because I'm only hacking two things. Whereas on the next hit I'll be hacking three. So I'll have extra GBE on this hit to dump on those mortars up there. And, actually, there's a bunch of free GBE to be had here. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get into marking things for the next hit. Actually, there will be more over there. It's not quite free at this point. I'm gradually losing girls because of those cannons, but I could still get up some extra GBE for my next hit. So, that all done, we're going to do this this, 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 flaring, smoking, I think she's going to stop, she might be right on the edge of that smoke, yeah, okay, so we can now double tap, perfect, all those boom cannons and doom cannons in the area will make life very easy, I'm going to mark these two rockets down here for next time, and then we're going to drop an official shit ton of GBE up here. That's right. That is, yeah, I believe that's an international measure, a shit ton. It's official, anyway. And 
anything else? No, that's going to be too expensive, so we're not going to bother trying to get extra GBE here. Clearing mines is not a factor, so we'll retreat. But that should leave us with plenty of GBE for the next run, which will be, again, triple the, the, the three hacks. Now, considering the triple tap here, so obviously dropping here, flaring up to about, she's going to end up about here, I would guess. So she's going to be right next to a laser. I might try to, and in range of that one, unfortunately, I might try to distract one of these lasers with some critters. Yeah, I'm going to try, so smoke here and then probably two smokes very quickly some critters into this smoke so that the laser will see them first and that should give me an extra second to try to get these hacks off. I'm hoping that this laser will focus on that. But we will see. And then again, maybe the triple tap won't even work. But like I said, we do get these layouts. I mean, they, they cycle. And the last time we had this layout, it did work out for me. So we're going to be optimistic here. Perfect. At least I think so. That back there. Okay, and preparing to hack like crazy. Did we? No. It was just the two. Well darn. <laughs> Tell you what. Eh, I should have checked the health on that laser the health on those. We're going to have to use an extra attack anyway. If I could use a couple of boats, I might be able to remove that laser. Yeah, let's try that. Because it's going to be a pain in the butt on our landing, and that would save me a bunch of smokes later on. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And there's a tiny gap there. Hopefully not getting completely roasted off the beach. Yep. Completely roasted off the beach. Cool. And let's see. I'm going to get this out nice and early. That's it. Get that laser. Focus on the laser. And we're going to get that too. Cool. Retreat. I could have gotten off one more artillery there, but, eh, well, I don't even know what I was trying to save those girls. They were probably doomed to begin with. So this is going to take a third setup hit. Coffee break. Need to hack one more rocket. Need to finish off these guys. What was the health on the laser here? Assuming they were the same, which I'm sure they were. Yeah, 54,000. So barding that would have been a bit of a challenge for me. And yeah, probably the better way there. Is there anything else we can hack? Not really. To make life easier? Uh, could try. Let's see. Only things damaged here are these two rockets. I mean, is that going to affect the landing if we remove extra rockets here? Not really. So, still do have to smoke the beach. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I said saving smokes. It's not going to save smokes at all because we do have a, a very hot beach here. However, at least we have a delay as opposed to having a bunch of lasers around because, yeah. Yeah, all right. So that's going to take one artillery, maybe a barrage, or maybe one barrage, maybe an artillery. If it comes down to an artillery, I'm going to leave it because that will give us extra GBE later. Hopefully it works out that way. Let's see. Anyway, might as well try hacking extra rockets just because. Worst comes to worst, it's fewer things shooting at us, and this hit is going to result... I mean, I'm not going to be able to start attacking the HQ anyway, so... Hopefully that leaves just a little bit of health on these guys. Damn. Alright, well, I will leave that because it's essentially free to clear later because the health is so low. 
I'll throw an artillery on it and I will get my 3 GBE back when the building falls. So, yeah, here we go. So we were going to land, um, really? No. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you need to get up there. You're hacking that. There's a bunch of damage in the area, so, I mean, might as well do this. And that's just fewer rockets in the world to shoot at me, and that's always a good thing. So at this point, I guess we just throw damage onto the HQ. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because what else are we going to do with it? Really low health on that guy. Look how much... I mean, on a higher health HQ, that would barely have diminished at all. And yet, it actually did make a difference. Huh. Well. Alright, so we should be looking at a grand total of two shocks here. We're going to rush the core on this hit, and we're going to bring Miss Brick with her battle orders. Is she? I wouldn't know on this account anyway, because I'm trying so hard not to touch that boat, and I'm just failing badly. It's just force a habit. I get down here, I'm on the gunboat, oh yeah, and I, you know, go to my troop, layout, troop loadouts, and then I just happen to tap over there, and it's really frustrating. Doesn't matter, again, doesn't matter on this account, but on my max account, it does, because I'm going to need to save up a bunch of gold, and having, you know, if I not, if I can not touch that thing for a week, and save up, um, you know, four million gold that way, and maybe stick around and get an op reward in one of my higher level task forces, I should be able to upgrade brick almost immediately. But the problem is that I keep touching that op boat. <laughs> or touching that resource boat. So, I'm going to try the two smoke landing again. I have one fewer, or I have one less boat here. So that might actually work this time. I'm going to flare up directly as before. <clears throat> Probably about here this time right where the corner of that mortar was. And two shocks we have. Just just two shocks, excuse me. Pardon my throat there. Uh, yeah, two shocks, just the doom cannons. We'll not have to worry about any of these rockets or anything. So let's get our screen in order here. And actually, you know what, I said with the flare landing, let's just go ahead and do the flare landing. And we'll leave a little bit of extra leeway on this one. And we're gathered up, and we're flaring, and starting to get a little bit wonky down there, so it was a good thing we got moving when we did. And this pathing is... Not ideal. Some of the girls are going to peek. Brick is way out ahead. Because, you know, she does that. Uh, got a tiny little peek happening back there. Going to get roasted. Cool. Battle orders. And for a guy who is trying not to lose Zookas, we're not approaching this the best way possible. Luckily, it looks like we're going to get this in one. Let's throw some critters out there to try to preserve a few girls. And save a little bit of gold. I can go clear my map after this. but And down goes that war factory also. So, we've got the, the high level way to approach this one. And we've got a more mid level way to approach that one. Also the poor man's way to approach this. If you are also trying to save some gold, you can make your life a whole bunch easier and that is War Factory for this week. I'm not quite sure what I'll do on my lowest level account. Am I going to have enough gold for that? No. This has been... I just I just got my Warriors upgrading last night, so I probably should have waited until I had a little bit more gold in the, uh, in the bank there, but I wanted to get them going. I've really been focusing on the Warriors because they're starting to be 
Like I have enough GBE now where they could be useful, but I can't really use them because they're still too low level because I have been ignoring them. So it really is becoming a deficit. I can't do that. So let's do reinforce. We might go with like one fewer boat of heavy for a couple hits if we can afford even that. Let's find out. Reinforce, no, change troops, heavy. 18, reinforce, 25. Well, I guess we're going to go do a couple NPC bases and uh, see if we can uh, make some money back. Anyway, that's War Factory two ways, and that's all I've got for today. I'm out. Hey, we didn't even get interrupted this time. It's a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Have a good day.